So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own poster mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so on screen, here we are. Uh, this is the image that I took, um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate this uh, in Adobe Photoshop so that you could actually basically uh, replace the main image here in this poster with whatever, whatever image that you want um, so that you can basically know which image to print out um, and have an example. Uh, so I do want to say as a preface right here is the original image. This is the actual image uh, that I took and let me open that up and you can see the original image. Um, so this is the exact same scenery and I will actually show you guys the image in real life. So this is the it's the image over here. This is the image uh, that I took. Um, so as kind of an introductory, so you guys understand why I created this video, why did I make this 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 um, poster mock-up PSD file? Um, ultimately, I, I shoot for print, right? So I have a lot of my work, maybe not as much as I'd like, but I, I do have a lot of my work printed at home and eventually the, there'll be galleries and there'll be uh, distributed and there'll be sales and Etsy or whatever uh, we choose to do on that front but ultimately I shoot for print and the reason why I made this this mock-up and I, I converted it over into this is because before I actually st uh, spend money in printing one of these these uh, these portraits or uh, whatever it is and maybe a landscape or whatever uh, before I print one of these things I want to see what it looks like in a real frame um, so I, I, there's, there's, if you search on the internet, you can find a billion poster mock-up PSD files. Some people make them from real actual scenes like I did. Some people make them just through Adobe Photoshop with, without any scenery. They just make it from scratch. Um, but I wanted to see what it looks like in a real frame that I actually have access to purchase, um, here locally, not just some, some imaginary frame that anyone could get. Uh, that I may not have access to because it's not in the local shop or I don't know where to find the specific size and stuff like that. So this is ultimately why I made this one and um, why I use something like this because it allows me to see before I print this out, what is it gonna look like um, in the actual frames that I do use for the time being until I get different frames. Uh, so that's a little bit of, uh, I guess, the, the why and the introduction and the kind of the theory. But let's hop over into Adobe Photoshop and I will show you guys how to recreate this. Uh, I also want to say uh, if you want me to show you guys how I lit this and how I set this up, um, please leave a, a comment in the description down below. Let me know and uh, we will coordinate to get that filmed um, and I'll recreate this to the best of my abilities by showing you guys light and setup, etc. So uh, let's hop over into Adobe Photoshop and we will uh, we will get this get this started here. All right, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so um, I want to also say that this uh, project file will be downloadable. Uh, it will be in the description down below. I hope it helps you guys out, and I will walk you guys through how I recreated it, uh, and I also walk you guys how through how to use it. Um, so I guess let's let's talk about uh, how I how I actually created this first, and then I'll show you guys how to use it. Um, if you want to skip this section, timestamps are in the description down below. You can just go to the section when I actually start talking about how to actually use this project file if you don't actually want to know how to create it yourself with the frames that you guys have. Uh, you may not have this frame. Uh, if you are curious, this frame is from Michaels. Um, it's a 13 by 19 inch, uh, I don't remember, I think it's something art, something art frame. Um, there's, a, there's a brand that Michaels has. It's one of their their artists their artist frames, but it's a 13 by 19 frame. They're brought about maybe 25, 30 dollars each. Um, they Michaels has plenty of sales. Sometimes they go down to 15, 20 bucks, something like that. So um, I just buy them in bulk when whenever they they do sales, which is like once a month or whatever. Uh, but if you're curious, that's the size and that's where I get them from. So you can get them at Michaels if you have a Michaels store in your area. Um, let me break down how I how I actually created this. So first things first is me shooting this. This is the original image. Um, so uh, what I didn't like about the way that I lit this was that it's a little bit dark and moody. Um, from a white balance standpoint, the white balance was kind of messed up. Uh, so in Capture One, I did some adjustments to basically fix the white balance um, because it was kind of orange and stuff like that. And here, when I actually imported it over into Adobe Photoshop, I then further did some adjustments. 
Uh, so if I zoom in, you guys will notice that the frame isn't actually, uh, it's not actually like white. It's got kind of like this warmish, uh, reddish, yellowish hue to it. Uh, so in here, the first thing you guys will notice if you if, once you're looking at the PSD, uh, bright scene copy. Well, this is basically just an HSL adjustment for me to actually uh, reduce the saturation right here. And then also with this, this image right here, uh, this one doesn't have glass on it. Um, so over here, the image was actually falling out and I, I did what I could to basically get this as straight in the frame as possible. Uh, but this doesn't have a glass on it because if I, if I shot this with a glass, it'd be reflective. And uh, based on the way that I was lighting this, it wasn't possible for me to shoot it with the glass in there. So unfortunately it doesn't have that kind of glass element in there. Um, but that means this section right here, the, the, the picture is actually falling out. So uh, this is also attempting in my best ability to fix that. Um, over here is then the next adjustment to increase the exposure of the entire scene, uh, which I just did. Uh, two things, so I did a brightness and uh, saturation adjustment, which is here. I just increased the brightness and saturation contrast, or sorry, brightness and contrast. Um, and uh, then I also reduced the saturation of the frame in here by just doing a selection, decreasing the saturation, and I brought up the exposure using the exposure slider. Uh, so uh, first things first, um, that's what I did in this project file, but how can you guys recreate this? First things first, you have to shoot this. Um, again, if you guys want me to show you how to shoot this, let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on how to shoot this, but uh, you have to shoot the frame. Ideally shoot it in a way, light it in a way so that you're not getting reflections from the light that you're using, whether it be a soft box or an umbrella or an octobox or whatever you're using, but uh, make sure that you're not getting reflections on the actual poster itself. Uh, so that when you actually, um, you, you basically replace the image that uh, it's gonna be as true to even lighting as possible so that you can really look at it and get an even um, and a good representation of what it will look like in a frame with glass. Um, if there's reflections and there's glare and then there's shadows on this side and, and it's dark and moody, uh, it's not gonna be a good representation of what it will look like in the frame. So make sure that the light is centered, uh, it's a soft light, um, and that it's evenly lit as, to the best of your ability. From there, uh, I would say, for the most part, reduce the saturation and uh, change the hue of the background here so that it's true white. Uh, you don't have to increase the exposure, it depends how you light it, but I would say fix that. Um, and then the most important part is going to be making a smart object. Um, so this is also gonna be part two on how do you use this project file that I'm gonna give to you guys. Um, if you want the, the download or how do you create this so you can just replace the images and you can actually have a fully working uh, PSD um, poster mock-up. So you have to do this through a smart object. Um, and here you guys will see the smart object that I've created and then some basically effects that I've, I have on it, a gradient overlay, um, just to add a little bit of gradient to it. Uh, you don't need to have that, you can turn that off if you'd like, but I just added that for more realism. Um, but essentially what you do to create this smart object, you're gonna go into the rectangular marquee tool. Uh, you're gonna do your best to uh, essentially marquee out the selection of the internal frame where you actually put your artwork. What you're gonna do from there, uh, you're going to create a, uh, it could just be a solid, it could just be a solid color, it could be white, it doesn't really matter what it is to be honest with you, it could be white. Um, and then what you're gonna do here is you're going to click on the right over here and then you're gonna do convert to smart object. So what is this, this is gonna allow you to do is for you to open this as a separate project file in Adobe Photoshop in the same Adobe Photoshop window that you have open, um, but as a separate tab. So when I open this up, it's gonna say after editing the contents, basically save it so that it, it remembers that you made changes. Um, this is the separate tab that opens. Um, this is a totally different workspace and essentially what you're gonna do here is that uh, I actually have to come out of full screen. Let me come out of full screen. Uh, you're going to do file place, um, embed, or you're going to drag and drop uh, an image. Uh, let's see if I have any other images. I should have one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can do, I'll just do this one for example. Um, and just place. And then what you're gonna do is resize and crop the images accordingly. 
so that it fits in your frame. Now, obviously this is not a retouch image or anything like that, so this is not really the best example, um, but essentially you're gonna just crop it and resize it to the way that you want, and then you're gonna hit X here and make sure you hit save. And then there you go. And now you have the replacement of whatever image that you want. Um, that's the basic fundamentals of how you use this project file and then also how you create a project file like this for yourself. If you wanna use other posters that are not the Michaels posters that I'm using, uh, you're more than welcome to use your own posters or frames if you want, but this is me walking you guys through a real example of how to do this um, and why I did it so that you guys understand kind of the thinking on why I even created something like this. I don't know a lot of other uh, photographers that are doing this. Uh, there's plenty of these resources online, but I don't know if anyone else has shown this particular tutorial. Uh, so it's kind of niche, I understand that. So maybe a lot, a lot of you guys may not watch this tutorial, but if you do and you found it valuable, I, I hope that it added value to you um, and absolutely will help you out when you're printing your, your, your photos and you're seeing the crop and you can make more calculated judgments on what it will look like in the frame uh, that you actually prefer the best. Um, but ultimately, that's all you do. Uh, you literally just save it. Um, I will delete this one, but yeah, I, I, you just open it up and you place your image on here, even on the text, it just says place your design here, which I just put there for you guys so you remember. Um, just make sure you save it and that's it. And uh, you're welcome to add adjustments onto uh, the smart objects like gradients and stuff like that to make it look more realistic if you'd like. But uh, that's, that's how you make this project file. Again, if you want me to show you how to light this, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll show you guys. And um, I will also be, like I said before, giving you guys the project file. I'll be giving you two versions of the project file, one without the bright scenery, so something sort of like this, um, that looks more in alignment with what the lighting originally was at. And then I'll also be giving you another project file which, which has the more brighter, uh, exposure adjustments, which is going to be looking more like this. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if I overlooked something or I missed something covered in today's video. This is Devon Lennox. You know where to find us. Photography. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 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 dot com.